The council was formed in 1993. I was a member of the original council and I'm now a member of a subcommittee, the social media committee, and the efforts that are now being made right now is to try to promote responsible digital communication in Waterloo Region. Social media, digital media is wonderful in terms of going somewhere, uh, doing research, communicating with friends. Uh, some of the dangers, however, are when people use digital social media and they tweet, they text, they post photographs that could be hurtful and could also be not true. So the mandate of the social media committee is to promote responsible digital citizens. So often with a, an initiative like this, you're dealing with ignorance and indifference. And what we're trying to do is create awareness with respect to some of the dangers, some of the pitfalls. We want people, when they're tweeting, when they're texting, when they're involved in those Facebook chat rooms, we want them to make sure that their involvement is true. It's not hurtful, it's helpful, it's inspiring, it's not illegal. And for adults, is it necessary to send that tweet out about your boss and complain about your boss? And your boss finds out about it by the time you get back to work on Monday? And K, is it kind? One of our local high schools really built on the kindness aspect, St. Mary's High School. CTV invited us to be here. It's a pledge. Uh, the Crime Prevention Council was involved last year with the pledge uh, at Rockway School. This year we were asked to come out again, the Crime Prevention Council. Uh, you see the John Howard Society is here. Uh, the Suicide Prevention Group is here. Uh, Mosaic Counseling is here. We're all here uh, to be proactive in trying to promote community safety. Well, some people have come up and they didn't even know about the Think campaign. Uh, there was a lady from Toronto. She teaches at a Catholic high school in Toronto, didn't know anything about it. She took some of the information with her and she's gonna promote in her own, her own school board. There's an example of someone outside our region. We had a number of kids come up here and they were having a great time looking at the, the Think posters and talking about, well, what does H mean? What does I mean? What does N mean? And that's what we're trying to do. We're really trying to reach the younger people so that over the years, it'll be like the seatbelt. When you were a kid, did you wear a seatbelt all the time? Kids get into cars right now and they tell their parents to put seatbelts on. We want these kids to grow up as responsible digital citizens so that they know it's improper. It's not cool to send something out that's untrue. It's not cool to send a tweet that's hurtful. We want the tweeting and the texting and the communication to be inspiring. Is it necessary when you're upset to tweet someone knowing that your text could be around the world in five minutes? And K, the most important thing I think, is make sure your communication, your digital communication is kind. This is all about the Think campaign. So before you tweet, before you text, before you post that photograph, before you enter that chat room, is your message, is it true? Is it helpful or I always include, is it hurtful? There are consequences. Is your text, is it necessary? And is it kind? One of the concerns is some of the communication that occurs through social digital media is illegal. And right here we have the three cards here and what we've done here, Mike, is we've had folks come up here, kids, and write down their own ideas and necessary nice. This is the one I like the best. I, it's an inspiring illegal. A five-year-old came up and she said to me, can I write down including? I said, well, why don't you write down inclusive? And you can see how it just trails right off the page, but she was five years old. It was so cool. It was great.